good evening everyone hope you have a great day today um, yes as promised hi Elizabeth yes as promised today I will be showing you how to make um, jelly mooncake yeah um, this is the only type of mooncake that my family eats not my family actually my children okay uh, we adults eat all kinds of um, mooncakes especially the traditional ones but the children they only prefer the jelly mooncake so um, it's a bit tedious to um, to make although the steps are very easy um, it's also after much persuasion from Christy the team leader of um, team sunshine she asked me to make um, that's why I, uh, I have decided to make the jelly moon cake to show you all alright actually I have to prepare a lot of things uh, in order to do this live anyway um, since there are a lot of people already let's get started it's actually a recipe <coughs> from this cookbook okay uh, jelly moon cake is a recipe from volume 3 and uh, today we are not making the lotus paste uh, version for the jelly filling we instead we have chosen to make the cream cheese filling with the chocolate skin all right so um, if you want the recipe the ingredients i've already given you but it is also in this book okay in this section the note section if you read on, you will find the recipe that I have given to you, the ingredients that you need to make the cream cheese and the chocolate. Alright, so the steps, we can just follow back the front part, the front page. Okay, um, the reason why I didn't choose to make the lotus paste filling for the jelly is because I don't want to go out and buy a 1kg of lotus paste and end up using only a little bit. So... <laughs> Anyway, I, I have thrown out a one, almost an entire package when I was shifting house. I uh, suddenly found a packet of lotus paste in sleeping quietly in my fridge. So I decided not to buy the lotus paste anymore unless there are friends who want to share with me. Alright, so, um, so as promised, today we are going to make the cream cheese chocolate jelly mooncake. So let's uh, make the egg yolk first, alright? So um, to make the egg yolk, we need to place 250 gram water, 40 gram sugar, one and a quarter teaspoon of agar agar powder, and uh, one pandan leaf, and of course, uh, food coloring, alright? So let's get started. If you're wondering what type of um, if you're wondering what type of agar agar that I use agar agar powder is actually no brand I bought this uh, from baking shop they have repackaged it and it's quite a large packet so there is no brand uh, looks like this agar agar powder okay so <laughs> anyway let's get started to make the yolk, we need 250 gram of water. Okay, always have to show you the empty bowl. Right? So we are going to pour in 250 gram of um, water. Okay, 250 gram of water, one pandan leaf, oopsie, one pandan leaf tied in a knot. Alright, um, 40 gram sugar, 40 gram sugar, and this um, one and a quarter teaspoon of agar agar powder. Alright, so. And yeah, food coloring. So to make the egg yolk, I have chosen to use orange color and a little bit of um, red color. All right. So just a little bit will do. All right. 
So we are going to cook this for 4 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. Reverse speed one. 4 minutes. degrees Celsius. Reverse. Speed one. Okay, so um, just to mention that after my demo, uh, after my live now, I think at nine o'clock you have to tune in to um, Thermomix Singapore page to watch another version of uh, different types of um mooncake which is the flaky yam pastry mooncake so right after myself you tune in to thermomix singapore or thermomix malaysia page and watch the different watch an entirely different type of mooncake yeah okay let's talk a bit about the molds because a lot of people pm and ask me about the mold that i'm using okay so we have a few minutes to chit chat so i will show you the molds to make the egg yolk you need a special mold like this this is like an ice cream mold it is round okay I have different types you can see so this is bigger with a bigger diameter um, the one you see in my mooncake photo I use this size this is a smaller one all right so today we will use the bigger one So I will show you uh, later on how to pour in the, uh, the jelly to make the mold. Let me take out the ready one. Okay, so this is the make ahead one. See? Hi Lillian! You see I have to come so close that only I can see all your comments because I'm not wearing any glasses. So these are the egg yolk, the fake jelly mooncake egg yolk. Okay, Made using molds like this. This is a bigger diameter mold. Okay, What I have is, um, you can also use something like this which is a smaller mold, right? So, um, yeah, to make this um, egg yolk, you need 250 grams of water, 40 grams sugar, one and a quarter teaspoon of agar agar powder, one pandan leaf, and um, food coloring. Okay, and food coloring. So, we are going to cook this for four minutes, 100 degrees Celsius, reverse speed one. Okay. So, um, yeah, I have a surprise um, for everyone today. No, I'm not giving any gift away, but um, my volume 6 um, has already come out, but I have not updated the website yet. So please do hang on uh, while I get my husband to update the website so that you can purchase. So this is uh, volume 6. It is, I'm not on the cover anymore, it's my children, my girls. So, um, as you, you all know, I have growing up kids. So, um, cooking meals for them can sometimes be um, challenging. But you see kids, they have all the freedom to eat all the cups that they want. So, this uh, recipe has a lot of um, yummy uh, this book has a lot of yummy recipes that you can you can cook for your children. Let me let me flip a bit and show you. Okay, uh, you have the it's quite difficult. Okay, let's hang on first. You have the ham and cheese pancakes, the hash browns, instant noodles pancakes. Yeah, this is very nice. Fruity crumble. It basically allow you to finish off all the leftover fruits that you have in your fridge and turn it into a crumble and they wouldn't even complain. 
So, um, yeah, what else? A lot of other recipes. Let me give you a run through first. The jelly can wait. <laughs> the jelly can wait. We have cheeseburger lumpia, which is a kind of spring roll. Pumpkin rice, pineapple rice, savory rice, salmon mayo onigiri, balsamic honey chicken with mashed potatoes, um, homemade Japanese curry from scratch. You make your own Japanese curry paste using apples. Um, pot stickers. This one I've done a live before. Chunky shepherd's pie. Cheddar biscuits with sausage gravy. This is very, very good as well. Um, citrusy salmon bucatini is a type of pasta. Of course, you have pasta carbonara. Uh, mac and cheese. Bolognese. What else? Tuna bucatini. Um, medieval casa reche pasta. So let's. Stuffed pasta shell. You have English muffin with breakfast sausage, just like McDonald's. Broccoli and cauliflower crumble. This is very good as well. Sweet potato rolls. Yeah, sweet potato rolls. Rosemary sweet potato rolls. And uh, the dessert you have sweet potato mochi cakes, sweet potato ice cream, peanut butter jam popsicles. Vanilla pudding with salted caramel sauce. This is salted caramel ice cream. Take pancakes. Soya bean jelly. What else? Chewy jewel in ginger syrup. Mango pudding. Um, Sorry, I cannot read your comments, so I won't be answering a lot of questions today. Uh, brownie brittle. I have shared this recipe before and many of you made before as well. Uh, vanilla ice cream with orange pistachio cube. What else? Yes, I have shared this recipe before as well. Oreo cheesecake popsicles. Oreo cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. Non-baked mango cheesecake. Oh, endless, huh? What else? Oh yeah, this is the last one. Chocolate cheese um, marble jelly. Yeah, something like what we are having today. So, let's take a look at the jelly for the egg yolk. Alright, so we are going to pour it out. Let me adjust the camera so that you can see how exactly I do it. Hang on, yeah. Yeah, I can see, right? Okay. All right. So, you open it up. You open it up, okay? And you are going to pour in this one. You can see, right? Pour in the yolk. Until almost full. Okay. And then we are going to close this. It will overflow. So this is this is a must. You have to overflow it. Okay. Press it down. You see? Press it down. Come up. Just finish it off. Alright, so we are going to wash this bowl and I'm going to come back later. Okay, so this is basically, we will leave this aside to set, okay. You need something heavy to put on top of it. This is what I normally do. Okay, this is what I normally do. I, I just put something heavy on top of it for about 10 seconds, uh, 10 minutes in room temperature. Thereafter, I will remove this and put this whole thing into the fridge to chill and set, all right? So we are going to put this aside first. So, um, yeah, 
Let me go and uh, wash the TM bowl and I'll come back. So this is the reason why you need a double bowl. Yeah, I'll come back in a short while. Alright, clean. So let's get on with the Okay, so let's get on to... Hello. Alright. Let's get on with making the filling, alright? So let's take a look at what we need for the filling. Okay, to make the filling, we need 60 gram of cream cheese. This is 60 gram of cream cheese. Um, we need 250 gram of milk. And then we need um, 30 gram of sugar. All right? and a one and a half teaspoon of agar agar powder okay so um, like I said the ingredients is found here in this page okay for the chocolate cheese mooncake so let's put in the agar powder the milk the sugar and the green cream cheese. Okay. And we are going to cook this for we are going to cook this for six minutes. Six minutes hundred degrees Celsius speed two speed three yeah reverse speed three Okay, so, um, yes, so the, to make the filling, you need a muffin tray like this, okay, you need a muffin, muffin mold like this, this is the filling, let me show you the one that I have made ahead, hang on. So this is the one that I have made ahead. You see, this is exactly um, from here. Okay, so to make the filling for the jelly moon cake, you need a moon, uh, you need a moon cake more. You need a <laughs> muffin, muffin tray like this, all right? So assuming you already have done the egg yolks like me, I have made ahead. So later on, when the filling is done, we are going to pour it into this muffin tray. Yes. Let me show you the finished product. <laughs> this is jelly mooncake, chocolate cheese jelly mooncake. Later on, I will show you how to make the skin. Okay, the most tricky part is actually the skin. Because sometimes, uh, never mind. You want to you want me to cut inside since we have a bit of time now? So I'm going to cut one. Um yeah, just to show you. Let me take up. 
So this is how it looks like. Very beautiful, right? Okay. And uh, because I have chosen to use um, a bigger diameter mold for the egg yolk, the mooncake actually don't have much brown base. Because the egg yolk is, the diameter is very big, the filling I actually have to pour up to the top, to the rim, in order to cover the egg yolk. That's why um, it uh, takes up a lot of space and uh, leaving almost no base for it. Ideally, it should have a little bit of brown base. So, um, but I have chosen to use the bigger egg yolk diameter mold. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to cut it and show you. So this week is all about Mooncake Facebook Lives, yeah? Right after myself is um, Thermomix Office having their Mooncake, Yam Mooncake Live, 9 o'clock. So... This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. I hope you will try this. And uh, I've already given you a, a run through of the recipe in my volume 6 cookbook. So I will put this aside first. If you want to know where to purchase my cookbooks, like uh, as usual, you go to my website um, www.anysaviorkitchen.com um, All recipes comes in dual language which is English and uh, Chinese um, It comes with stacks for TM21, TM5, TM6 and it even have a separate section for non-thermomix users which is the conventional cooking section Alright, so there is no um, problem of buying my cookbook and use if you do not own a Thermomix yet. Okay, so don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram. On and off, I will give, up, uh, I will give away gifts. So um, it's very important that you follow my space all the time. Okay, we still have 55 seconds left for the um, filling. So I'm going to show you how to pour the filling into the muffin, into the muffin tray like this and uh, insert the egg yolk in the middle. Okay, so far anyone has any problem, you can uh, go ahead and uh, ask me. So yeah, volume 6 is out but um, let's wait for my boss la, to update the website then you all can purchase. So this is, um, it has a lot of children recipes like I said, um, it's easy enough to prepare the, a meal with your children. So it's always good to start them young if you want them to know the most important living skills which is um, cooking. That's how I train my children actually. Okay. So Alright, so I'm going to pour out the filling, but not to the not all, not pour out all. So I'm going to adjust the camera again so that you can see. Now I can see or not. Okay. You can put here. All right. So, okay. This recipe makes uh, the recipe that I given you makes uh, four moon cakes. Yeah. So let's pour out. You don't need to pour everything out first. Just. Okay, 
until almost full like um, three quarter full we still have a bit here so now I'm going to let this cool down for about two to three minutes then I will insert the egg yolk mold inside so um, you know why because um, this has food coloring if you put it in now when it is so hot your color may um, come out more the, the orange may stain the white filling more okay so let's wait for uh, two to three minutes then only I'll continue so while we are waiting let me adjust the camera all right so while we are waiting we still have some here we still have some here right remove the MC cup let uh, set a timer for two minutes two minutes without temperature and uh, put speed two so that the thing also cool down uh, when we remove the MC cup and mix it at speed two for two minutes without any temperature it also gives us a timer uh, for two minutes for us to put our egg yolk then after two minutes all right so yeah i saw christy make some very nice colorful rainbow moon cake peng pei moon cake today so i think her demo is on saturday so do remember to tune in if you want to learn how to make peng pei moon cake okay and it is so beautiful the colors is uh, rainbow colors just like unicorn colors right Christy the the pink pink moon cake is like unicorn colors the pink pink moon cake that you make today so you are practicing yeah so if you have any questions to ask me you can ask don't forget to like and to share the video okay I can come nearer and see what you all want to ask How is the weather in Singapore? It is so hot here. No more rain already. It used to rain every day. What is in the filling? Cream cheese and milk. Cream cheese and milk. So this is one way to cool down whatever that you want to cool down. Remove the MC cup and then stir it at speed 2 or speed 3 without any temperature. So for those of you who are new, I have a total of six cookbooks now. You can get it from my website, all right? Okay, so I'm going to adjust the camera again. You can see, right? So let's put the egg yolk that I have made in advance into here and pour in the balance when can order ah? can order anytime ah? I asked my husband to go and do up the the website so we are going to wash this bowl and this one I normally will set it in the in room temperature for a while before I put it into the fridge so let's put this aside 
Okay. All right. You can see, right? Are going to make the last step okay which is uh, to make the skin so let's talk a bit about the molds that you can use so I have here some jelly mooncake molds all right you can see right I have this as well square one you know women they just like to shop they just like to buy buy so much don't know for what they have i have this one as well also square this one is actually this one this one uh, this one this one can see this one so i don't know if you can see or not you can see or not this one uh, this one this one <laughs> So, the round one, I use uh, these two, right? And uh, you can also buy something that looks like this. This is, uh, I don't really like it because uh, it's dome shape. It's harder to make the mooncake, jelly mooncake, if it is dome. Always choose something that is flat, that is flat. Okay, this one is also flat. Alright, so many. I even have this big one. If I make this one, I will put uh, four, or sometimes four egg yolks or sometimes two egg yolks into my filling. But then I have to choose a special, special mold for my filling because I cannot use the, not to say cannot use, you still can use the muffin tray as the filling mold, but um, there will be a lot of because this one is bigger you see so I got this from Vietnam so um, anyway you can go and go ahead and uh, buy order online all these mooncake molds so I, uh, I will use this one today this is a uh, goldfish this is goldfish. Alright. So hang on for a while, yeah? Then we can make the skin. My husband see me put makeup, make up today. He asked me, where are you going? You're only doing a show, right? I said cannot make. Cannot put on makeup man. Okay. So, and four. Let's take a look at the ingredients that we need to make our skin. Chocolate skin. Okay, for the chocolate skin, you need 400 gram water, 60 gram sugar, 1 tablespoon cocoa powder, and two teaspoon agar agar powder agar agar powder anyway so we need 400 gram of uh, water 400 gram of water so let's weigh 400 gram of water of sugar then um, this one two teaspoon of agar agar powder and this uh, cocoa powder one tablespoon and we are going to cook this for 
7 minutes. 100 degrees Celsius, reverse speed 1. 7 minutes, 100 degrees Celsius, reverse speed 1. Recipe is from Volume Three Cookbook. Yes, it's from Volume Three. All right. So um, we have six and a half minutes to chit chat. You can you can ask me anything you want. Don't forget to like and share the video. Um, Okay, so um, for those of you who just joined in, I will just um, introduce uh, my cookbooks to you. This is volume 1. Alright. This is volume 2. And today we are cooking using a recipe from volume 3. Volume 4 This is Volume 5 And the latest Volume 6 Okay So I'll inform you when the website is ready for you to purchase the cookbook So it's going to be very exciting A lot of recipes that you can cook with your children for your children all right if they are growing up good a lot of cups inside <laughs> so yeah there is another moon cake facebook live at 9 pm just tune in to thermomix singapore or thermomix malaysia they are making a um yam moon cake flaky yam moon cake Anyway, I want to share with you about something. Um, few days ago, I went to the shopping mall to have lunch with a friend, a lady friend, a female friend. And uh, after we parted our ways after the lunch, I was wearing my mask, okay? It's a mask that you have to wear a mask everywhere you go. There was someone asking me, are you any savior? I said, yeah, I am any savior. And then I asked her, how do you recognize me? I'm, I'm wearing a mask. I'm not even showing my face. And then she said, oh, because I can recognize your eyes. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know her. So she said she has my cookbook and she can recognize me through my eyes. Lucky I'm with a female friend. It's an appointment with a female friend. You won't have to I so it's I don't think people can recognize you even when you are wearing a mask. Okay, so ask <laughs> Oh, it is you. Your kin. Now I know who is it. Lucky I'm with a lady with a female friend. Otherwise, really, so it's I don't think all. <laughs> you can recognize me uh, through my eyes. So, so amazing. So, promise me that you are going to um, order the mooncake molds, the, the, the egg yolk mold from uh, Shopee or Lazada or everywhere, um, or baking shop, okay? And you are going to make this jelly mooncake. I'm glad that so many of you tuned in today, tonight. See? Now, like I said, ideally it should have a little bit of brown base, but because I have chosen a bigger egg yolk mold, so 
the diameter is very large and I have to pour the filling up to the rim in order to cover the egg yolk so leaving not enough not much space for the base anyway it still looks very beautiful right let's eat one piece since I have nothing else to talk I'm not a celebrity. It is so good. Chocolate and cheese. It cannot go wrong, right? Mmm. So good. So after this, we will need to, um, like I said, making the skin is actually a bit tricky. So sometimes um, if the timing is not right, you will, when you unmold, the pattern is still left in the mold. <laughs> so your, your mooncake will not have the flower on top. So I need, to, I need to guide you very clearly later. Just wait lah. Is chocolate cheese and berry mooncake. Hey, I don't know how to do everything, you know. I'm just a regular mom. It's not everything I know. Now, I will have to adjust the camera and show you how to make the skin. Let's push this aside for a while and make way for our... I will adjust the camera. Okay, can see it now. Can see, right? Okay, we are going to pour this into the into the mold for about a few mm only, just enough to cover the patterns, just enough to cover to cover the patterns here. All right. Just a little bit and then so we are going to put this back and this one will have to wait until it is semi set this one will have to wait until it is semi set then only we can put in our our filling mold okay so um, this one is almost hardened try it try it yeah, almost happened. So, um, but it's still a little soft. I'm going to put it in the freezer. No time to wait. Wait. All right. So this one will have to wait until it is semi set. So um, I will show you later on. So what's the meaning of semi set? Okay. So um, there are still a lot here. We will pull this down, just like uh, just now. 
remove the MC cup. Let's cool this down for 6 minutes while we wait for this to semi-set. Semi-set means uh, you can see that um, it jiggles in the middle but there is already a layer that is uh, a bit hard already. So you have to try it yourself I, yeah, in order to know what I'm talking about. So let's uh, cool this down. 6 minutes without temperature for at speed 2. 6 minutes while we wait for this to semi-set. Now it's still watery. We will wait until it almost set but the middle is still jiggly. Alright. So this one is cooling down. Our filling is ready. I have 3 here. I have put in the one that we made just now in the freezer, hoping that I can unmold and put it in here later because uh, one recipe is enough to make four mooncakes, four jelly mooncakes. Mm. A little on, not rainbow mooncake, I think. It's flaky yam pastry mooncake. 9 pm, so right after myself. What's the time now, uh, by the way? Let me go and check. Uh. Okay, we are on time, almost an hour today it took. Although it's so simple to make, but um, a lot of cooling down period. Yeah, later on is traditional flaky skin yam moon cake. Yes, now it's 8.45, thank you. So, um, 9 o'clock, so we will be done by then already, so don't worry. Still have... Um, Yes, Christie's Peng Pei Moon Cake, Rainbow Peng Pei Moon Cake is on Saturday morning 11 a.m. <coughs> so tell me, who is going to make this uh, jelly moon cake? 200 over people watching me now. So who is going to make jelly moon cake? watch again the live you can watch again the live replay recipe for what the recipe is in volume 3 cookbook Amy thank you I hope to see your photo soon Yes, I will always support you, Christy, and your team Sunshine. How I wish I am in Singapore, then I'm part of your team already. Okay, so if you've said you are going to try, I'm waiting for your photo, yeah? Actually, I've given out a lot of these uh, molds to... When I was doing my first Melbourne cooking class, yeah, I gave away these mooncake molds as door gift to the students who, I mean to the people who joined in my Melbourne cooking class a few years ago. I hope they didn't throw, I hope they don't throw away the molds. <laughs> Actually, uh, doing a live takes a lot of preparation. You, you think it is, uh, some people think it's very easy. You just sit there and talk. It's not that. We have pressure also, okay? We are stressed also. It's not just sit there and talk. I also can't strong one. I, I also very scared when, when I'm preparing the ingredients, weighing the ingredients. I also feel scared feel stressed. Every life, I also 
feel scared and feel stressed. Yes, I'm supposed to be in Melbourne. In fact, I'm already, I'm supposed, uh, end of, I think, end of July to the early, to the first week of August, I'm supposed to be in Melbourne. Now it's already September and the virus is still ongoing. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for supporting my 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 cookbooks and uh, my Facebook live, my journey, everything. Yes. Alright. Oh you talking talking short short like that. Okay, this one has almost set but not set yet. When this is done, I think we can start putting in our our feelings. So you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. It is set but the middle is still jiggly. And I will tilt the camera again. You can see, right? Okay. We are going to put in this one into here. You know, see? All full already. Let me take another one. <sighs> so just uh, unmove. The one that we made just now. See, this mold is actually smaller, that's why just now I have, a, I have to press down the... This is good, this is actually bigger. So anyway, it is okay, it's still okay. That's why we have a bit of leftover here. So I'm going to pour this up into a bowl and let my children eat. They like the chocolate jelly. So we will let this uh, settle a while, like 10 minutes in room temperature and then only we will um, put it in the fridge to, to set and to chill. Alright, so um, square or round is also okay. Just make sure it is flat. Okay, just make sure it is flat. This 
is flat. Can see or not? It is flat. See? Flat. Not this type. I don't encourage you to buy this type. This is not flat. Huh? This is dome. Don't buy this type. So square or round is okay so long as it is flat. Alright? Flat. Can see right? It is flat. So there are many designs for you to choose. Hello Kitty also have nowadays. So the live is almost over and I do not want to take up too much of your time because you have to tune in to uh, watch uh, another live Thermomix Singapore, Thermomix Malaysia to make the flaky yam pastry mooncake. So um, yes, it is very easy to unmold. You just press it out. All right. So this is the one that I have done. And uh, yeah, I hope you will. I hope you will make the jelly mooncake. All right. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in to Thermomix Singapore and Malaysia to watch the uh, flaky yam mooncake pastry. Bye bye.